Internal Revenue Service IRS Tax News. Home ownership and taxes. Things taxpayers should consider when selling a house. IRS Tax Tip 2021-83, June 10th, 2021. It's important for taxpayers to understand how selling their home, there's a link to selling the home here, may affect their tax return. When filing their taxes, they may qualify to exclude all or part of any gain from the sale from their income. So just a quick recap on this. Obviously, if you were to sell your home, that would be a huge event financially for an individual or couple and there could be tax implications on it when you think of the home sale you would typically kind of think of it as like a capital gain type of situation where you sell the home you're generating revenue on the sale but you also had the cost that you had when you paid for it so you got the cost or basis which we could call it from tax terminology which could adjust for various things but in essence you got the sales price and the cost the difference then is the gain which you would expect to be kind of like income similar to like a stock sale or something like that but then you could be because it may be your principal residence and if so you could then have this huge exclusion that might be there with regards to the principal residence so you got to have an idea of what the exclusion will be and what the impact of that could be on uh, your tax situation there's also other various kind of things that could of course take place with the selling of the home depending on how the home was used and other kind of circumstances did you improve on the home when you're considering the cost of the home or the basis of the home but the general idea is you want to make sure understand if it's your principal residence and if so do you have access to the exclusion and then when you're thinking about the gain you're typically thinking about the sales price not just the sales price but the sales price minus the adjusted basis which includes the cost of the home generally uh, in terms of thinking of the gain to then think if or whether or not the exclusion will be great enough to to exclude that gain and whatnot so here we go here are some key things homeowners should consider when selling a home ownership and use to claim the exclusion taxpayers must meet ownership and use tests so these are the tests for that huge exclusion that you would really like to be taking advantage of if selling a home especially if it's at a substantial gain so during a five-year uh, period ending on the date of the sale the owners the owner must have owned the home and lived in it as their main home for at least two years so let's go through that one more time during a five-year period ending on the date of the sale the owner must have owned the home and lived in it as their main home for at least two years for at least the two years so gains taxpayers who who sell their main home and have a gain from the sale may be able to exclude up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars of that gain from their income so remember what you're thinking of sales price minus the adjusted basis is in essence what you would think the gain to be that gain then would generally be thought to be included in income which you would then have to pay taxes on in accordance with your tax rate and whatnot but that gain is the exclusion would mean you could exclude it meaning you don't have to include it in income in essence or remove it from the taxable income which means it would not be on the taxable income and you'd get to exclude it so you're talking about the gain portion not the sales price but generally the gain the sales price minus the adjusted basis which would include generally the cost and then the ex exclusion applied to it now then the taxpayer who file a joint return with their spouse may be able to exclude up to 500,000 again that's not the cost of the home that's not what you sold it for that's that's the gain <laughs> that you could exclude basically on it so that's a huge amount of course so homeowners excluding all the gain did not need to report the sale on their tax return so once again homeowners excluding all the gain which if it's your principal residence and especially if you're married quite likely unless and even if you're in a high income place where the homes are, are fairly expensive you know 500,000 exclusion would be would be considerable when you're talking about the gain there so homeowners excluding all the gain did not need to report the sale on their tax return losses some taxpayers taxpayer expense a uh, experience a loss when their main home sales for less than what they owe paid for it so you might have a loss meaning yes you, you sold it for something below the cost hopefully that's not the case generally because usually home sales kind of go up kind of on average but we on certain periods of time of course there was a there was a decline or downturn and of course in any area 
you might be in a situation where the homes are declining and you could be in a loss type of situation. So this loss is not deductible. Multiple homes. Taxpayers can own more than one home. And notice when it says it's not deductible, that might seem kind of harsh. You're like, well, why, why don't I get it, you know, to deduct the loss? But note that the home itself is, is kind of a personal thing. It's not really a business business type of activity. So the purchasing and, and the selling uh, of the home, you know, you can think of it as kind of obviously from a personal side as an investment, but I guess the rationale would be that it's not a business, it's not a business expense in essence. So you don't, you know, there's no loss related to it as there would be if it was like a business related thing. So in any case, that it is what it is. So multiple homes, taxpayers who own more than one home can only exclude the gain on the sale of their main home. They must pay taxes on the gain from selling any other home. So if you have multiple homes and you're selling multiple homes, then you have the situation and many, some people get in this situation with retirement. You know, they, they actually have multiple homes, possibly they're renting out homes, they're fixing up renting homes. Maybe they own multiple properties and maybe in retirement, they, they are gonna sell some of those homes and live on live on the retirement or something like that possibly if you're going to do that then they may actually live in the home you know for at least two years to qualify the home as a principal residence because now they've lived in it you know fulfill the requirements to make the home your principal residence before selling it thereby being able to exclude the the exclusion amount on it and being able to exclude a lot of the gain that would be the way you'd want to go but if you can't if you sell two homes then obviously the both of the homes can't be your principal residence generally and you'd only get the exclusion on the one home and you could have a significant you know you can only get the exclusion on the home that's your principal residence in essence so reported sale taxpayers who don't qualify to exclude all the taxable gain from their income must report the gain from the sale on their home when they file their tax return Anyone who chooses not to claim the exclusion must report the taxable gain on their tax return. Taxpayers who receive Form 1099-S, proceeds from real estate transactions, there's a link to that here, must report the sale on their tax return even if they have uh, no taxable gain. So if you get that 1099-S, then you're going to want to report it and then see if you, if you do have the exclusion and whatnot then uh, take care of that. So possible exceptions. There are exceptions to these rules. So there's always the exception here. We've learned the rule. Now let's get into the exception. There's a link to those exceptions for some uh, individuals, including persons with a disability, certain members of the military, uh, intelligence community, and Peace Corps workers. Okay, worksheets. Worksheets included in the publication 523, Sell in Your Home, there's a link to that publication here and the worksheets that would be included in it, uh, can help taxpayers figure the adjusted basis of the home sold, the gain or loss on the sale, the excluded gain on the sale. So if you want to work with that worksheet, you could take a look at that. Sometimes tax software can be useful for this as well. So if you got a, a home uh, that, you, that you're going to be selling, you might want to look into that. Obviously, if it's a complex situation, with the home and you think that uh, that you think that you might owe something or you have questions about whether it's an exclusion it's a big tax item if it were to be taxable it could be a, a you know a very significant tax item and therefore you might want to seek advice on it as well in that situation from a tax professional